In 1914, a German infantry division consisted of 18,000 men. The division was equipped with 4,600 horses, 24 heavy machine guns and 72 light artillery guns. Now in terms of organization and structure, the division consisted of two infantry brigades, which themselves consisted of two regiments each, which consisted of three infantry battalions and one MG company each. Furthermore, the division had one artillery brigade, which consisted of two artillery regiments, which themselves consisted of two artillery battalions each. Additionally, in some cases there were also cavalry, engineer or medical units attached. Now this structure is quite abstract. So to get a better grasp on it, in terms of men, let's go one level deeper. Each infantry battalion consisted of four infantry companies. Since the division had 12 infantry battalions, there was a total of 48 infantry companies. Such a company itself consists of 150 men in peacetime. It was increased to 270 in wartime. This meant that around 13,000 men out of 18,000 men served in the infantry companies. This layout was soon changed for various reasons. One was to get a more uniform structure. A structure of two subunits was replaced with a structure of three subunits. This structure of three was still very common in World War II for infantry divisions. There were many other changes throughout the war concerning the division layout. Some dealt with the changing nature of the war and others were about strategy. To note a few changes, there was the addition of a permanent medical company in 1916 and the increase of engineer companies throughout the war. But probably the greatest change was in terms of equipment. To give you a short impression on how much an early war infantry division was different from a late war infantry division, let's revisit the initial numbers and compare them to a division that was intended for offensive operations in 1918, the so-called Mob Division or Angriffsdivision. The early war division had around 18,000 men, whereas the late war had 15,000 to 16,000 men. Note that the second number is an estimate by an expert on this topic. In terms of horses, there was a reduction from 4,600 to 4,300 horses. Since the attack divisions received more horses than regular divisions, the number of horses in overall decreased to a greater extent than this display might suggest. In terms of light machine guns, there was an increase from 0 to 180 machine guns. Furthermore, the number of heavy machine guns also increased from 24 to 108. Whereas in terms of light artillery, the number of 72 was half to 36. Yet, there was a significant change in other artillery weapons. Whereas the early war divisions relied solely on light artillery, the 1918 division had 12 heavy artillery guns, 18 light mine launchers and 6 medium mine launchers. Note that the mine launcher in German is called Minenwerfer, literally meaning mine floor, which is the original German name for a modern mortar. As you can clearly see, the number of machine guns increased substantially by a factor of more than 10 times from 24 to 288 machine guns, thus several times multiplying the amount of firepower of the division. To illustrate, in 1914 there was one machine gun for every 750 men, whereas in 1918 there was one machine gun for every 56 men in the division. Now in terms of artillery, the change was less drastic. The total number of artillery pieces didn't change and stayed at 72, but the number of types increased and thus resulted in a far more versatile artillery force. The heavy artillery provided more firepower and the mortars allowed for a short range indirect fire in close coordination with the infantry. Thus, the overall flexibility and effectiveness of the division was increased without increasing the total number of artillery pieces itself. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and see you next time.